welcome to class. I have been working on this little strawberry. Um, I did this last night and if you look at the post below you'll see how I broke it down every time I, I paint a little bit and then I stopped and took a photo. So it actually went really well for posting it on Patreon. This is as far as I've gotten. This was yesterday evening. Uh, we were watching Into the Burning. I don't know, I mentioned it below somewhere. I'm not sure what it was called now. It was really, really good. Today, the point, the reason why I'm mentioning that is because this little strawberry is getting kind of old. It doesn't look as good as it did a little while ago. Um, I've got some, uh, what is this, some kneaded eraser. I'm just using that to kind of prop it up so it stays where I want it. And so that you guys can see the reflection. I want to make sure that the reflection that I'm seeing and the reflection you're seeing is similar. We're talking about these lines. See these teeny little lines? So it looks like this. It goes around. It's the seeds in the middle. It goes around the seed, comes up a bit, goes down, a little bit up here. So I'm at this point. Then goes up there. Comes down again. Goes this way. Around that one but it also breaks and goes this way around this one and then it comes back. This part is pretty smooth. A little jagged up here. In and out. Gets really thin again. Comes all the way up. Gets bumpy. And then connects back up there. And actually there's a few more bumps in here which I left out. And then there's one dot here and one dot here. And way down here on this side, this goes up, so we're here, goes up and it curls back and there's a seed, a very small seed actually here, a small seed here, and a small seed here. Then it curls back, comes down and around, little bump up, then it swirls in here, there's a little bump there, and then this part there's like two layers right here. See how there's a few bits in here? Okay. And then it connects back up to that. And then there is nothing up here. Um, there's this middle section, which is actually bigger than I drew it. So let's go and do like the bigger, because this is multi-toned in here. Okay, so that would actually go more like this with the two dots and with that dot there and then there's nothing and here now this is interesting too if you notice these are almost in a straight line this way and then these are a straight line this way now this straight line it's not really straight it goes up and down here and then straight and this one goes up as well and then it's straight because the strawberry is moving so we need to the strawberry has a curve so we have to draw it in a curve these three were okay then this one is a little bigger. It's about here. And we have that one. Then we have another one which is higher up here. It's about parallel to that one, but it's higher. Can you guys see that? So, can you see anything? Okay, good. Um, so now we're on this one. And remembering where the top of this line is, going this way, that line is going to meet up with this line. So we would start sketching here go through it's kind of the main white and then underneath there's a lighter version of this that kind of wraps around like that and then coming down a little bit there's this curve which we could just draw as a straight curve or we could try to follow the lines draw exactly what we see okay and it curves down this way and then and that's a little too close but anyway and that one curves that way so we'll just pretend that that's right because <laughs> it is too close, but that's okay. All right, so that's the second one. Now, going the other way, we've got this one. And again, it's pretty dark in the middle. It's very dark where the seed is, but then you've got the highlight over here. So this highlight goes up, wraps around. There's a little bump in the back here. And then it pretty much stops there with a tiny little bit of end here. Okay, so that is this section. And if we keep going, because this is really helpful, and it's helpful for me too, because I'm getting a feel for what this strawberry looks like. So our seed is here, and it goes this way. Notice the seed actually goes that direction, whereas this seed goes this way, and this seed goes this way. 
So this one's this way and this one is up. My seeds are also getting bigger. They're really tiny down here as the seeds probably, I don't know, are they actually smaller? No, I think they're all the same size, but, and that's why it's so good to have realistic, uh, to have a, a real live piece because we can pick it up and we can check it and see what's going on and uh, not have to completely do it based on the image. So because in the image it looks like these seeds are really bigger and these are smaller, but in real life I can see no, they're actually all the same size, it's just the foreshortening. So we've, where are we? This line, so we're on this seed, this seed, and this seed. So this one goes this way, this one goes a little more vertical, and this one also goes vertical. Okay, up, up, and then there's one more over here, which is bigger, and up like that. And then there's one down here, which is almost, so it is not parallel to this one, even though it feels like it should be, these three. This one is back here, so there's like an angle there. So we're going up to where we think it would be, and we're going to go back to where it actually is. So it's about here. So we've got this curve. This circle is dark, but it has a little highlight way up here. And then this one, because this is where the main light is, right? So now we're moving away from the main light, and we're going to end up with bits on the sides of these dents. So this one has this little bony shape at the end. And it goes up and then it comes around, gets fat up here, a little triangular shape up there. Now there's another little shape just above it, which also comes down on both sides. And then this one has a little wrap around the bottom. Okay, and it has this little piece at the end and a little dot just above it. And then we're at this one <laughs> and it has, let's start here. We're going to start right on this little piece. So it's got a little spot here, it goes in, then it wraps around like that, going up. Now there's a space, of course, then we see this one, two, and a third one to the center. And then it comes down here with a little tail. A little tail. So that is this one. That one is not perfect. In fact, I'm going to fix that. So the tail goes, because it's more of a curve, right? Up, round, and down. Okay, like that. And our last seed, this is the one I keep using as a reference. There's one over here. This is that one. So we are talking about this seed. This one has a very faint little dot here, a little double dot down here, and it has almost like a little rosette up here. And this one has an extra spot, although it's very tiny. So those, that's our highlight. That's really cool. Now if we can kind of take that and squish it, shrink it, maybe if I took a photo and shrunk it and then copied it, or I can just freehand it. So this is really important because if I try to just freehand it by painting it on here, it's not going to look realistic and since I am going for realistic I need it to be right so to take the time to really study what's going on now this is a very small piece in a very big piece so we're talking like this so the whole strawberry if I was to give you an example the strawberry is going to be way out here okay and it's going to go up how close is that it's going to go all the way up here. Then on this particular one, we've got this leaf up here. And then I'm just going to rough this in quickly. Okay, and then we've got another leaf. And another leaf. And somewhere in here is the core of the strawberry. And there's things going on over there we can't see. So that's kind of the shape that we're at. And this is... In fact, the shape is probably a little bigger than that. There. So this is a really big strawberry that we just drew. Right? It goes all the way in here. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way up in here. But we've just taken the time to sketch out this tiny bit. Now when we come in here and we paint it, now that I know what it's going to look like, when I'm scheduling or when I'm painting it, it doesn't have to be that perfect. That's the idea. Since I know what it's going to look like here, 
because I've taken the time to really map it out. I can break the rules, I can draw it any way I want, but I already have that feel of what it's gonna look like. So if I took my brush, and let's say I use white paint, for example, I took my brush and I thought, okay, so we need, we need a little circle and a few dots, and we need a little squiggly line this way, kind of like an S shape with a C next to it, and then there's a few extra dots in there, and then there's a C here and a C here, a backward C over here, a line, a few dots going in an upside horseshoe shape, and then it's almost like a radioactive shape up here, three, uh, three little bits. So by doing this little sketch, it's going to make everything easier when I come back and do that. So that's really what I wanted to show you, how I figured out where the highlights are. I guess we can call this finding highlights. <laughs> I hope you guys find this interesting. I'm going to continue down below painting and I'll just continue putting the pictures in and writing my little blurb underneath. But this is the main video part of this uh, post is how I'm finding those highlights, uh, which is the stage I'm in right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo guys.